We live in a digital world. Phones, tablets, laptops, everywhere you look. Screens light up our lives. We use these devices for everything, even taking notes. Remember when classrooms were filled with notebooks and the sound of pencils scratching on paper? Now, it's all keyboards clicking and fingers swiping. It's fast and convenient, but is it good for our brains? Utton, a new study says maybe not. Researchers at the University of Tokyo wanted to see how digital note-taking compares to the old-fashioned pen and paper method. They were surprised by what they found. Turns out our brains might not love digital as much as we do. This study is a big deal because it shows us that the way we learn and remember information is changing. As technology becomes even more integrated into our lives, it's important to understand the impact it has on our brains. Let's dive into the study and find out what the researchers discovered about paper, digital and your memory. The University of Tokyo study asks students to read a story and take notes. Some used tablets and laptops, others used good old-fashioned notebooks and pens. Later, everyone took a memory test. Guess who did better, the pen and paper group? They remembered more details from the story. They also understood the story's timeline better. The digital group struggled to keep up. This tells us something important. Our brains process information differently depending on how we take notes. Why the difference? Researchers think it's about how we use our hands. Writing by hand is slower and more deliberate than typing. This forces us to really think about what we're writing. We can't just jot down every word. We have to summarize and make connections. This extra brain power seems to help us learn and remember better. Typing, on the other hand, is so fast that we can go on autopilot. We might not process the information as deeply. So while digital is convenient, it might not be the best for our memories. Think of your brain like a powerful computer. It has different parts that do different jobs. Two parts are super important for memory, the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex. The hippocampus is like the save button. It helps us form new memories. The prefrontal cortex is like the organize button. It helps us make sense of information and store it in a way that's easy to find later. When we take notes by hand, we activate both of these areas more strongly. The physical act of writing sends signals to our brains. These signals say, hey, this is important, remember this. Digital note-taking doesn't send the same strong signals. It's like hitting the save button without organizing anything. The information might be in there somewhere, but it's harder to find later. This could be why the pen and paper group in the Tokyo study did so much better on the memory test. They were giving their brains the right signals to learn and remember. why paper sticks. So why does paper seem to have a leg up on digital when it comes to memory? It's all about engagement. Think about it. When you write by hand, you're not just recording words. You're creating something tangible. You feel the texture of the paper, see the ink flow from your pen and hear the gentle scratching sounds. This multi-sensory experience helps to cement the information in your mind. Digital note-taking, while convenient, often lacks this sensory richness. You're typing on smooth glass, staring at a screen, and the only sounds are the clicks of keys or the tap-tap-tap of your fingers. It's easy to get distracted by notifications or other apps. Plus, paper notes allow for more freedom and creativity. You can doodle in the margins, draw diagrams, and connect ideas in a way that feels more natural and intuitive. This active engagement with the material is key to boosting your memory. Paper power in action. Okay, so paper might be better for memory, but how does this play out in real life? Let's look at some examples. Imagine you're a student studying for a big exam. You could review your notes on your laptop or you could print them out and study from paper. The paper version is more likely to help you remember the information. You can highlight key points, write notes in the margins and even draw diagrams to help you visualize concepts. Or let's say you're a professional attending an important conference. You could type notes on your tablet or you could jot them down in a notebook. Later, when you're trying to recall key takeaways from the conference, you'll likely have an easier time remembering the information you wrote down by hand. These are just a few examples of how paper can help us learn and remember better. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to improve their memory, putting pen to paper is a powerful tool. Remember, this paper works. 
In our fast-paced digital world, it's easy to forget the simple power of pen and paper. The University of Tokyo study reminds us that our brains haven't quite caught up to the digital age. When it comes to memory, the old ways might still be the best. So, next time you need to remember something important, ditch the laptop and grab a notebook. Your brain will thank you for it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more science-backed insights. Tap the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Thanks for watching and keep boosting your brain.